everybody. It's me, the Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Happy Friday and welcome to another evening at Vogue Knitting Live. It's really great to have you folks here with us as we round the corner into the weekend and uh, bring you some more of Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl's yarns and fashions and kits that we have available for all of you. Uh, we, as I mentioned, we are on day two. We know that you have lots of choices when it comes to Vogue Knitting Live, and we're really happy that you chose to be with us here at Knitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Uh, there, I'm sure that there are some new folks who are joining us, so please enter in the chat box who you are and where you're from. Even if it's not your first time here with us, we'd love to know that you're sharing the evening uh, here in our studio. And speaking of our studio, we are operating today from the lower level of our home here in Connecticut because uh, we have always been about yarn to the people and yarn to the people for Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl was out of a 25 foot mini bus until COVID happened. And we had to shift and pivot and make a little bit of a change. As a matter of fact, we made a giant change from being a local mobile yarn shop to being a global community of knitters who we serve every day and every week here on Facebook Live on Monday nights. So uh, Paul is my cameraman and announcer, my husband. And Paul, who's joining us this evening? Leticia Castro. Hello from Miami, Florida. Hi, happy Leticia. Friday. Happy Friday. Leslie Welsh Flaherty is back. Hello from Maryland. Leslie, you are the happy sharer. I don't think I've got more shares from anybody that I have from you. <laughs> and we have Gina Bates from Mission Viejo, California. Hi, Gina and I were just chatting this morning. Hi, Gina. It's good to have you all here. Uh, those of you who are new, we don't know if you're here unless you let us know in the chat box. We have a very interactive show. We, uh, we love your comments. We love your feedback. And most of all, we love your input. Uh, so let's get started today. Um, I wanted to start our show. Last night, we started off with uh, heavy, cushy, uh, wintry yarns. And tonight, I'd like to start with some lighter fibers and that being Art Yarns yarn. So I am wearing Art Yarns Merino Cloud, which is the, the, the specialty yarn that we carry here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl from Art Yarns. And I'm going to walk over this way so we can take you closer to the display of Art Yarns. While you're doing that, we've got Kitsy Demeray. Hi from Cortland, New York. And Hi. Gina says hi and Linda Crawford. Hello from Mississippi and Leslie Walsh Flaherty. Love the share the best. <laughs> well, we are sharing. We are glad you're sharing. And we're going to talk for the folks who are new to us in a little while. We're going to talk more about <coughs> our sharing and why people love to share Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. So let's talk a little bit about Art Yarns Merino Cloud. Art Yarns Merino Cloud. I want to grab one of my favorite colors here. I was just kind of like, I, I look at these two together. This reminds me of a, of a chocolate latte. Just so pretty. Love it, love it. So Merino Cloud is an 85, 80% uh, extra Merino wool, 20% cashmere. Uh, these are a fingering to sport weight yarns, wonderful yarns for shawls, uh, accessories, sweaters. Um, I love the drape on the yarn. I love it especially for shawls. It's just a fabulous shawl and cowl kind of a, it, it just feels really nice on you. And so in the art yarns, these are literally hand painted. We've actually been to the art yarns um, shop where they, where they manufacture the yarns. And uh, it was very interesting to watch the, the tedious process of hand painting the yarns to get just the color, the color is just perfect um, and in the right places. So we carry here, the uh, a variety of their what's called their inspiration club and hold on a second hold on uh oh okay we carry their inspiration club yarns which are very limited editions um and we also carry their ombres and their uh, beaded silk and sequins now the beaded silk and sequins is a lovely accompaniment to any project you do and when you look at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl online, you'll find the projects that we 
offer using Art Yarns Yarns, there's always an option to add the beaded silken sequins. Every project that we have can be created without it. So it's not a necessary piece. And the reason I talk about that is because this is 100% silk and glass beads. So with specialty, um, there's only 110 yards on each skein. So if you look at this project, and this is um, a new, pro a more recent project that I finished uh, that Iris Schreier, the owner of Art Yarns created. And you can see where she had the, um, the beaded silken sequins right at the end. This project is called Straight on the Bias. And oh, I just noticed something here. I forgot to take care of that when I was finished my last show. And I'm sorry, we have a we have a bit of a a, a, a guest here on the show who's deciding he doesn't usually like yarn, but there's a skein of yarn on the steps, and he's deciding if he's going to pass it by or just or decide that it's something he wants to see. So anyway, let me tell you about straight on the bias. This is this shawl goes on forever. It's quite interesting. It's a boomerang. So you start, and there's a variety. There's a variety of stitches here in this shawl. I love the I-cord on the edging. So you've got I-cord borders on both ends. It starts with little tiny dots. Isn't that amazing? Well, you've got your garter stitch, and then it goes into dots. Now watch what happens here. You have garter stitch. And then we go from garter stitch to, I call them fleur de -lis. I can't remember what she calls them in the pattern, but that's our fleur de -lis. And then you go back to garter stitch. And then what happens is as the shawl grows, you're going, you're creating squares and then you've got rectangles. And let me see if I can hold this up so you can see how the pattern changes. Now you're using two different skeins of yarn with this. These happen to be two ombres. You could use a tonal and a variegated as well in this pattern. So, the way this was worked here, the way the pattern was written, the beaded silken sequence is added at the end. So you can see here. Nice and sparkly. Right. So it's garter stitch here and then rows of garter at the end of, of uh, stocking it at the end. Now, my suggestion, the next time I do this is I'm going to, I can't find my, so these Got are a couple of comments. Yeah. Kitsy Demeray shared. Linda Crawford, I think I shared. Not sure if I followed directions. <laughs> COVID brain sometimes kicks in. And Amy Kapetsky, hello from Nebraska. Oh, hi, Amy. That's a new name. It's great to have you here joining us. So let's take a look at these two. These are the two beaded silken sequins that we use. Now, my suggestion in this shawl, so I followed the designer's uh, instructions. I would take the garter stitch in every area and that's where I would put my beaded silken sequins. I would put it in here and then in here and just follow the colors the way you see them in the pattern. And you don't have many sections of this, of the garter stitch. So it's really easy to put it there. I had lots of sequins left for that from this shawl. So you would easily be able to insert your, your silken sequins into that pattern in all the garter stitch sections. Yes, Paul. Anna Maria Milani. Hello, Paulette and Paul. Well, hi, Anna Maria. I wonder, are you back? Are you uh, down on the shoreline? I know you were headed this way. And Rita Johnson Cotterman. Hello from Eureka, California. She hi, shared. Rita. I'm going to make sure I put all those in to our sharing bucket. I just want to show you a couple more of the um art yarns patterns and you can if you just go go on to our website uh, at nittygrittyyarngirl.com and go into the search bar and enter the word art yarns you'll find all the different patterns that we have all the kits that are i should say kits that we have and we also carry the yarn separately so if you wanted to buy it by the skein or you wanted to get just a you know just a skein of sequins for another project it certainly is a, you're able to do that as well. This one is really pretty too. A very, really lovely piece. And um, this is called Hummingbird. This is Hummingbird. And you can see where we've inserted the silken sequins on that too. It's we'll, a little hard to tell on the camera. 
Okay, so if I if I light it against me, it's the lighting. Yeah, let me see if I can get it up here like that. So you can see it's right in through here. And with the silver and gold, it's you know it's not. If, if it were against the black, you'd be able to see it more. Well, you can see it live just on the camera. The yeah. way the pixel. Yeah, you don't get the yeah, you don't get the the, the sparkle as we like to call it here. Um, and then there's another kit that we have, and it was this was very popular this summer. Um, Breathe and hope. Pamela Rose Atkin says hi, and Anna Maria Milani says yes, back on the shoreline. Yay, welcome home. <laughs> welcome to your other home, but welcome to our home here on the shoreline. So um, Breathe and Hope was really popular this summer by Casa Pinka, and we created two Breathe and Hope shawls at the shop here. We did one in cotton and one in, um, in merino cloud. And so you can see what we did here with the sequins is we put them in. If you saw Breathe and Hope, you got these little striped sections and it worked perfectly in there. And I love the little Pico edging on this pattern as well. So that gives you a little idea of art yarns. Well, if you want to show them all the different, uh, the different silk and sequins. Beaded silk and sequins. It's just the, the it's, beaded silk and sequins is like the icing on the cake. It just always looks pretty, no matter what. As a matter of fact, uh, there's a pattern. I'm going to show you. We something. have Ruby Seal from Crozet, Virginia. Hi, Ruby. Welcome to Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. That's a new name. Yeah, yeah. We have a couple of new names. As a matter of fact, we've got some new people on the show. And maybe it's a good time to let our folks know if the folks know. Well, let's see. If maybe we'll wait a little while. Nope. I think we're, we're, we're good. good. Okay, perfect. So those of you who are new, um, one of the things that we like to do on Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl is share the love. And so we have a little, a, a little game that we play here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl all the time. It's ongoing. And that game is, we call it our sharing game. We ask, if you're tuning in to Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, that you like our page, and then you share our page or our post tonight with anyone in your group of friends. If you have knitting groups, if you have a, on your personal page, wherever you think you're going to have other knitters who are going to see our posts, we would love for you to share. And then what we do is every time you share, if you share three of our posts tonight, your name goes into our sharing bucket right here. Three times. Three times. So as many times as you share our posts is as many times as your name goes into our bucket. And then when we get together, we share back because we love to share with our fans. And let's show you how it works. You can't lose anyone. Now, are those of you who shared yesterday, uh, I went through all the posts from yesterday and entered your names. That's the dog barking at the cat because he doesn't want to, speaking of sharing, he doesn't want to share space. Okay. So, Paul? All righty. We're going let's in. Let's see how it works here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Who wants to win? Oh, what are they going to win, Nitty Gritty? Uh, hmm. I got a couple of things in mind. Okay. We've gotten one. I'm not looking. Why, why you hold it while I go grab a skein? So we're gonna we're gonna share skein of yarn tonight. Hold on. Who's going to be the lucky winner? We have books. We have skeins of yarn. We have. Oh, I've got a skein of a Beatrix. Tell them what they're gonna win, Nitty Gritty. A skein of Beatrix by Juniper Moon Farm. If you were not with us yesterday, or if you're unfamiliar with Beatrix. This is a 54% extra marine, extra fine merino wool, 30% angora, and 60% nylon. It is like, like a cloud. It's cloud soft. So let's see who's going to win. It's a purple. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Carolyn Wood. Carolyn Wood is our winner. Thank you so much for sharing, Carolyn. We appreciate it. So we are going to take this yarn and put it aside with Carolyn's name and it will go off to her tomorrow. So, and if you've never, if you've never been a customer, if you're new to Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, what I will do 
is I'll be sure to reach out to you and ask you for your contact information so that I can send your gift to you. This is totally free of charge. There's no shipping costs, no nothing. It's all yours. So if you would like to share right now, um, or let's show you how to share. Paul's going to show you how to share Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, and you can be in tonight's drawing. Okay. So sharing is as easy as one, two, three. The first step is you click on the share button and picture number one. Number two in the middle, you select public because that way we can see that it's been shared. If you share it privately, we won't be notified. And then three, just click the share now button and voila, you are sharing like royalty. So start sharing because before the end of tonight's show, we're going to do another drawing. We'll do another drawing and all your names, your names will go into those drawings. And keep in mind that even if you don't win tonight, you can win another night because we never stop drawing and the names go back in. So the more you, the more you share, the more we share back. Thank you so much for that. So let's keep moving on our show. What do you have something to say? Let's get caught up on a couple of comments. Okay. And Maria Milani, love the silk and sequins. Yes, you do. And you have a beautiful shawl using that silk and sequins. Red on red. I love it. Mary Leventon, hi from Ocean City, New Jersey. Hi, yay, my Jersey peeps. <laughs> Mary Huber, beautiful patterns and fabulous yarn. Beaded silk and sequins, the best. Quadruple exclamation point. And Vanessa Magal Malagone says, congratulations, Carolyn, oh. with a hand clapping emoji. And Maria says, congratulations. Gina Bates, yay. And Leslie Welsh Flaherty, congratulations. So, you know, you don't, it's, you know, we always talk about the lottery and say, you don't have to buy a lot of tickets, you just have to buy the winner. So, <laughs> you know, and we love that you share and we hope that everyone has a chance to win. So, uh, moving forward, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, Painted Sky by KFI. This is a uh, special, to, it's called the KFI, bah, bah, um, KFI Collection. This is a super wash Australian virgin wool. I just love this yarn. I love, I love how it knits up. I love how it feels in my fingers. I love how it looks. It's It's got a great stitch definition to it. Fabulous. It's great for sweaters, scarves. Let me show you. Um, I have a sweater here. Choo, choo, choo. Here it is. I didn't, I didn't want to wear this one. Let me just show you how pretty this is. I know he's being so cute tonight. Look how pretty that, just look at the stitch definition in that. This is a, um, this is on our website. Let me show you the, the name of this is, uh, it's called Cardigan. Isn't that funny? This is a painted sky cardigan. It's got a cute little peplum lace bottom on it. Lace bottom on the sleeves as well. Look at the detail on the back. Oh, sorry, Paul. Look at the detail on the back. They're really pretty. So painted sky is a great yarn. Uh, we use it in several projects here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. And um, one of them is the very, very popular night shift shawl by um andrew and mallory it this is still a very popular shawl on facebook and uh the the kits that we have on our website using painted sky are great one of the things that i really like about um painted sky right now is the brand new colors that have come out um look at this gorgeous aruba blues now if you look at how the how the yarn is is spun you've got this dark blue thread going through the light blue here and then as you look further you can see the light blue spun on the dark blue and it's if you go throughout this is all blues now take a look at green bay where you've got the brown and the this uh like a spruce it's almost like a blue spruce in there but look how pretty the gold the gold picks up in there just gorgeous. And then you've got some real more multicolors with Victorian mosaic. So these colors are all on our website. Um, we have we put together kits for the <coughs> night shift shawl, as well as some, some other kits, which I'm gonna show you now. Um, but Paul, you wanna just peek in right there and show them some of the variety of colors. They're just great. There's this, I believe this one is called Sahara. 
No, this one's Mojave. There's Mojave and Sahara. Um, and the, the colors are fun. They're just, yeah, you know, they'll pop right back out again. They tend to start bouncing when you when you move them. So um, we put together kits, as I mentioned, with this. Now, when you go to Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, when you buy, buy kits from us, um, for example, with with this uh, the night shift, the pattern is really very long, and there's really only three pages that you need. So we, of course, your the kit is in, the the pattern's included with it, so you get the whole pattern. But I highlight the sections you need to use the yarns that you're that you're buying with it, and I also give you a color sequence, so you don't have to follow it. But if you buy the kit, let's just say it's the, um, I'm trying to think of the name of it now, the Lime Twist kit, uh, where you have a Lime Twist as your base color. I will, I put together all the four colors and alternate them for you so that you don't have to sit there and figure out which one's A, which one's B, which one's C, which one's D. And then you could either use that or make up your own. It doesn't really matter. So we put that together for you. This one is the Night Shift Shawl. Uh, this was one of the original ones that we put out there. I'm not even sure if all these colors are still available, but mix and match as you like. If you, if you see, if you like the shawl and you don't see a combination that you like, you can do one of two things. You can find Painted Sky on our website and order it separately. You need four skeins. Um, or you can call me and we can customize a kit for you. So that's not a problem either. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul's telling me we can FaceTime with you. We FaceTime a lot with customers here. Um, we try to bring the yarn shop to you. As I mentioned before, our motto is yarn to the people. And it's sometimes hard to get an idea of how this yarn looks uh, on a, in a picture um, or any yarn like that. I mean, like, how, how do we know what that's going to look like? So... We take you through the shop. We FaceTime with you and walk you through to help you find the colors and the yarns that you think will best suit your um, your project. Um, this is another fun project using Painted Sky. If you want some bedroom socks, you know, sometimes those fluffy socks are a little bit too heavy, but something like this is really great. So I believe this takes two skeins. Speaking uh, of which, how are you coming out with mine? How am I coming out with yours? Well, it took you uh, 10 years to decide to let me knit for you. So maybe you'll have to wait 10 years before you get your socks now. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was that was quick. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So um, another, this is a new project uh, that we have in the shop from uh, using painted sky yarns and this is called the aurora wrap this is really pretty um it's it kind of takes the mosaic um idea and puts it on steroids a couple of comments uh gina bates says yay leslie welsh flaherty says congratulations and rita johnson cotterman says love the cardigan and carolyn noller the kits are wonderful makes the naughty so enjoyable yes Look at this. Look how pretty the Aurora Wrap uses the mosaic. In in this area here where you've got your long, your long stitches, and here you've got your little knit one slip ones along the way. And then you've got that long pattern again here. So this has been a very, very popular pattern. This is called the Aurora Wrap, and that's at nittygrittyyarngirl.com. Uh, by the way, I talked before about FaceTiming with folks. If oops, if you'd ever like to chat with me about something, or if you want to take a stroll through the uh, through the um, studio, you can call me at 203-856-6756. And you go to nittygrittyyarngirl.com and you can find our phone number on there too with our contact form. Speaking of numbers, we have a discount code for this weekend for Vogue Knitting Live. For shipment for orders over $50, your shipping is free in the US. 
And if you're outside the U.S., because we ship all over the world, we'll take $10 off your shipping costs. So if you're outside the U.S., pay the shipping when you place your order and we'll refund $10 of the shipping to you. And if you're in the U.S., just put in VK Live in the discount code. V is in Victor, K is in Kevin, Live, L-I-V-E in the discount code. Yes, Paul. Brenda Dixonberger, love this wrap. Yeah, I love it too, Brenda. It really is very, very pretty. And as I said, it's been popular. And the colors that we, you know, that we have are just super, super. So, um, taking us to the end of Rainbow Sky, Rainbow Sky of Painted Sky, um, and there's a, a little kit that's on the website. It's a cowl and hat and fingerless gloves. Just fun little, I don't put the hat on <laughs> because I just, because I don't put hats on. And um, right there, I wear hats, but I don't put them on on the show as if I can help it because cats, hats that come in that are knitted in as samples are always knitted for the average size head. And though it may seem like I have a big head at times, I have a really tiny head and it doesn't, and the hats are just so funny because they're like down my nose. So that's the little mitts. And these are, that's a, these are one skein projects. So Painted Sky is also on our website, uh, buy the skein. If you see the yarns and you, you know, you're not interested in a project, but you are interested in the yarn, it is there for you, uh, for your pleasure to take a look at. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call us or send us a message. So anything else that I need to tend to before I move on? Okay, so I'm going to move over here. And I don't want to forget to go here. So remind me when we're done. This is a bucket shawl. Don't forget to go there when we're done. Okay, thank you. I meant when we're done. Um, right here, the bucket shawl. You may have seen this by Linnea Ornstein. And in the bucket shawl, <laughs> as it's originally shown online, You've got a white background with different color flowers. And my dear friend, Jan Forty, said, I have a vision, because she knitted it in the white. She said, I have a vision. I'd like to see it with a multicolor background and solid flowers. So we created some lovely kits for this shawl. And so many ideas have come as a result of it. There are, there are shawls that she has knitted that are plain white with black flowers and one pink flower. I mean, people have become very creative with what they're, uh, what they're putting into this shawl for, uh, for their, their pleasure. So what we've done here is we're using the KFI Indulgence Sport. This is a hand, uh, they're a hand-painted sport. And so we're mixing that, and I'm just, you can stay right there, Paul, while I grab one of these. Uh, let's see if I can, a couple of them. So on our website, you know, you may, you may see this one here with that as a, an accent color, or perhaps uh, this one here. I'm not sure what all of them are out there. That's another pretty combination. So we've got lots of combinations out there that you can choose from on the website. So you can have your multicolored background. Kind of reminds me of a, of a Monet painting. Just that, you know, those water lilies in the field. Really pretty. Um, and then the flowers coming up. Love it. Love it. So that's called the bucket shawl. And while we're standing here, for those of you who are new to Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, um, we are having our first knit along that is starting next week. And we are knitting the Deja Vu capelet. And it's, we, I'm just so excited about this. We have lots of folks who are joining us. It's, and we have, Lots of color combinations uh, for the Deja Vu shawl. As a matter of fact, it's funny that I just picked the Mirasol up because Mirasol is one of the yarns that we're using with it. 
and we're also using Hario Fine. So you've got some really gorgeous. This is 75% alpaca, 25% palamide in the Hario Fine. And I'm going to grab the colors that I'm doing. I started mine today. I'm doing this color and this. These are my two base colors and my accent color. You can just show them those for a second there. Like, what happened to my accent color too? Oh no. Ah, I lost my yellow. I put the yellow somewhere. Well, I'm doing this with a yellow, which is very similar to this yellow. So that will be my color combination right there. And then we've got so many others. We've got the blues and um, and grays to go with it. So go to nittygrittyyarngold.com. We're going to have such a grand time at our knit along. And you know, just be, because it's a knit along, we're using that time to share our successes and to show what's happening and to chat with each other, get to know the community that we see and hear every week here on on our nitty gritty yarn girl twisted stitches show and and if you need help i'm always here to help it doesn't you know, we're actually i'm going to be doing a little uh, a little catch up for some folks who aren't sure of mosaic knitting so before the before we actually start the knit along we're going to have a little tutoring class to help folks to you know to feel more comfortable if they're feeling a little bit concerned with maybe they're not 100% up to speed. So, and those of you who have gotten your kits already, start. Don't wait. This is, we don't have to wait to cast on together. I'm I'm about eh, an inch into mine so far. I just want to be a little bit ahead of you all so that I can let you know what's coming. I put a little video out there today for you. So, the knit along is called Icebreaker. It's our Icebreaker knit along. That's at nittygrittyyarngirl.com. You can sign up for that today and you'll have all your goodies. They'll get off to you. And even if even if they're a couple of, you know, a day late, you can still join in on that first day and uh, get to see what the community is doing. It's still not, it's, you can, you can join at any time. It's not, you know, it's a five week program, but come on in and join us anytime you'd like. While I'm talking about that, we are also having um, our friendship retreat. We hosted our last retreat was the day everything ended, the day everything closed on March 15th of this year. And um, we're ready to start again and hopeful, our fingers are crossed that everything is going to be okay for us to gather on February 26th, 27th, and 28th at the Water's Edge Resort and Spa here in Westbrook, Connecticut. And we had a great time last year at our retreat. Um, we're looking forward to doing that again this year. And we've got oh, lots of people have signed up already. And we are ready to rock and roll in February. So that is our nearly <laughs> spring friendship retreat. And just to give you a little peace of mind, we know that there's a you know shifting tides right now. We never know what's gonna happen. So if we should need to cancel because of COVID, then um, we'll refund your money with the exception of your kit fee, which is $100, which is all included. And then we'll send your kit to you. And hey, if we can't we all get together, if we have to cancel, we'll turn that into a knit along if we have to. But um, we, will, we will have a great time. And we're all looking forward to getting together at the water's edge in February, at the end of February. Are there any questions that are coming up? Okay, super. So enough of what's happening there. I wanted to take you over here, um, introduce you to two things. Rainbow Beach is a lovely yarn by Miras, uh, by Queensland United, by Queensland Collection. This is another 100% wool. This is a fingering weight. It's a, it's a similar wool to um, Painted Sky in a lighter weight, different brand, of course. Um, it's a gr again, another great sweater, shawl, a good all round yarn. And it's a self-striping. So let me show you here how it works up. 
so you can see how it stripes. Now, this is all one skein. As a matter of fact, I believe that's all this skein right here. And so this project is on our website, along with others using Rainbow Beach. And that's this is called the Iyer Wrap. And this little baby is called the boardwalk shawl, which I just love. And I love the little fringes on it. Not much of a fringe person, but it looks cute on this little piece. Just ties it off perfectly. So that's called, this is called the boardwalk shawl. And it's really just a little shawlette, like Paulette. Oh, I can wear this. It matches my outfit. Look at that. Lovely, right? And um, there's a, another little shawl that's just a little kerchief type piece too. Here, this is um, the Eriska scarf, E-R-I-S-K-A. I love the colors on this yarn. Look at the pretty blues and the browns. They're cute. And this is it, you know, if, you, if you're uh, practicing your lace stitches, this is a great little scarf because it's not that long. I'm sure this works up with one skein of any color. And by the way, if you see something on our website, and it, I mean, if you see something you like, it's not on our website and you want to order the yarn for it, just let me know um, that you'd like the pattern and I can get the pattern. As long as they are uh, knitting fever patterns, I can get them for you if the yarn is on our website. So that's not a problem. Our kits, as I mentioned, do, do all comes with yarn the the amount of yarn that you need for your size in the color that you choose and um we also include the pattern and a nitty gritty yarn girl um project bag so all those are part of kits that you get with nitty gritty yarn girl um well i brought you over here because i wanted to share with you the sunday brunch pullover this is such a fun project and this is knitted with Alba by Jody Long. This is a beautiful um, DK weight yarn, fabulous for sweaters. It's a lovely wool. Let me grab a skate of yarn here so I can show you. Um, this is a merino and alpaca luxury tweed. I love the little flex in here. The tweed is so beautiful. I'm a big fan of tweed anyway, um, but this came out really lovely. And I love the little eyelets in there. And if you see, there's also the eyelets on the sleeves as well. So this is a really interesting piece because you're knitting your sleeve with your garment. So as you've got your front and your back are knitted as separate pieces, including the sleeve. And then you can see that the sleeve is... Um, a, is that a three needle? I can't remember if that's a three needle bind up is what it looks like to me. And then you pick up your stitches here for the collar. And then you create your collar. Really very pretty. Um, it was not a difficult pattern. It is a pattern though that you do want to take your time while you're reading. And it's also an oversized sweater. So keep, in, keep that in mind as you're choosing your size. Now, the Sunday Brunch Shawl is featured in Vogue Knitting Magazine. And so it is only available with the magazine. So, or, or in the magazine, I should say. It's not a pattern that I could buy separately. So when you order the kit for the sweater, you get the magazine with it. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's really sweet. And the magazine has several really lovely patterns in it. Yeah, Rita Johnson Cotterman says, ooh, really like the tweed. Yeah, I love the tweed. We have so many great patterns that you can use that tweed with um, on our website. So really pretty sweaters that are in here. Great shawls and, and um, scarves. So this is the Vogue Knitting Late Winter Magazine. We have these in stock. And again, when you order this kit, it comes with this issue of the magazine. And um, the Jody Long's yarns, the Alba yarn has some really pretty colors. Um, right in here, this is a, I, I love this, this blue 
and then and the orange just i mean they're just gorgeous colors all the way through and there's this you know your your basic if you wanted to do a fisherman knit type sweater and the red, this is the garden, the purples, really pretty. And each one has that, you know, just that little fleck of tweed in it to give it some push. Very, very nice yarns. Okay. Um, we are moving through and I'm, I was looking at something else I wanted to show you right here. Juniper Moon Farm um, came out with a line of organic yarns. Is a question, honey? Uh, Mary Ray wants to know, what is that shawl in terracotta? This one, I, th I think this might be the one. Why? that was perfect timing. Thank you. Um, this shawl in terracotta, I was just talking about how Juniper Moon Farm came out with a line of yarns last year um, that are 100% organic wools. Um, really beautiful yarn. So the yarn that we're looking at here is called Santa Cruz. Um, it is a worsted weight yarn. And there are a couple of projects that you see. And it was funny because I happened to knit this one up. And this is the sample that came to me from the manufacturer. So let me just show you. This one is called Dragon Tears. And I just love this. This was one of our uh, retreat projects last year. And it's a great pattern. It's a an asymmetrical triangle that has a cable up the side there. So it's a little bit different. You know, we see so many things with I cords right now. This has a cable on it. And then it's, these are called nups. So you have your uh, reverse stitches, your reverse stockinette stitch here, and this cute little bobble that's on there. And you see the, the cable runs on the opposite side as well. This is called Dragon Tears. It's available in two different sizes on our website. So this happens to be the smaller size. And then there's one that the, as you, as you graduate to the next size, there's a little addition to the pattern. So it's a, there, you'll see a little change there. It's called uh, tucks. Did you have the nut pattern and the tuck pattern? Mary Ray says, great minds. Yes, we are great minds. We do have great minds. So, yes, this is terracotta. Um, that Actually, I think this is called cardamom. And this is the Ahild sweater. It really demonstrates the ability of this yarn uh, with the cables in here. And look at the lovely the detail in here. This, this is on our website as well. Lots of cabling work on here. The back is a stockinette stitch. So that's the simplicity there, but the cable goes all around the collar and comes down the front. Very, very beautiful sweater. And these are both knitted with um, Juniper Moon Farm Santa Cruz. I'll take you over here and show you the Santa Cruz colors. Um, we've got these here. So they're, they're yeah. Yep, these up to here. This and this is ooh, this is new. I'll show you about that in a second. So those yarns are the merino of uh, the uh, Santa Cruz organic merino, and it's a worsted weight. Fabulous for sweaters. Uh, we have lots of patterns on our website, or lots of kits on our website using Santa Cruz. This is Noro's brand new yarn. Um, it is called Miyabi, and Miyabi is a wool and cashmere. So it's really interesting. I showed you the beginning of the show. We started over at Art Yarns and their yarn that you were looking at, the Merino Cloud, is a Merino wool and cashmere in a fingering weight or fingering and sport weight yarn. This is a wool and cashmere um, in, um, in a worsted weight yarn. And this, it's, it's in true Noro fashion. You've got the beautiful colors, the beautiful colors of nature, the self-striping. And I am very anxious to get this on my needles. I can show you, um, we had a trunk show a few weeks back. And um, there it is. Take this off. It's, it's not staying on. Uh, I want to find you a, a Miyabi pattern. Well, one of the hats. Let 
<laughs> now I can't find it. But the Abby is a fantastic yarn. There's so many great projects. This is Okunoshimo. This is another new yarn by um, by knitting uh, by knitting fever by um, Nora. by Nora as well. So this hat was knitted in Miyabi. It's great. It's soft as can be. Just a gorgeous yarn. So this is a Nora magazine number seventeen. We 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 stock all the Nora magazines, and oftentimes when uh, like right now, as a matter of fact, any project that you see on our website that comes from this magazine includes the magazine because it's the only way it's available is right here. So that was, um, then we, we were there with the, um, Merino. So I thought I would bring that over to you. Um, yesterday we were talking about the bulky yarns and, um, I wanted to show you Yusha. We were talking about Yusha it was a super bulky, uh, wool by Mirasol. And this is that's a great little cape that they have or poncho that's knitted using Yusha. And this is a 99% wool and 2%, 98% wool, 2% polyamide. So if you're looking for those quick projects to you know get them on and off your needles. Um, I know Paul's daughter is a lover of the big projects. She she loves to, uh, she's like, give me the big yarn and the big needle so I can move on to the next thing. So this is another fabulous kit that you can find at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. I don't even Jackie know. Vandenberg wants to know how many yards on the Miyabi On the skein? Miyabi? Um, I'll tell you in one quick second. <clears throat> and I love that they have some nice earthy tones in this as well in the Miyabi. Miyabi is 250 meters. So that's about 260 plus yards. So that's, it's, a, you're getting a, a decent amount here. It's certainly more than enough for a hat and, and it's probably enough for a small cowl. Um, I don't know that you would be able to get more than that out of one skein. So was there something you were show, asking me to show the folks? Well, what I want to show you, yes, all our, all our lovely Nora yarns. I have these out for another project. Um, so we, we carry a full variety of Nora yarns here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Um, but I want to pull something out of the drawer here. It's amazing what I have in here. And I want to show this to you because I was talking before about our, our Twisted Stitches show on Monday nights. And, um, the way Twisted Stitches got its name was I was so upset and so, con so confused when our, uh, big event that was scheduled to uh, to take place after our retreat was canceled. I didn't know what I was gonna do. And Paul, my husband said, well, you're gonna bring yarn to the people like you always do. We're just gonna do it from home instead of from a, from a big venue, from a convention center. So I just went, out, I went live online and said, you know, I am just twisted that Stitches is not happening and I don't know what we're gonna do. So this is what, this is how we're gonna manage it. So. Anyway, that's how Twisted Stitches got its name. But there's another Twisted Stitches item in our house or at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, and that is our Twisted Stitches signature shawl. This is a one skein project using uh, Subami by Knitting Fever. And it's got a variety of stitches on it. It's something that I often... Uh, suggest to for folks who I think it's backwards. Uh, suggest to for folks who want to learn new stitches or practice their stitches because you've got a little some mosaic in here, you've got some eyelet, you've got drop stitches, uh, lots of different stitches that you can practice using this cute little pattern, twisted stitches. So this is available on our website at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. It's a one skein project. Um, we've got some colors here of the Subami. Now you can also use other yarns from Noro as well. Subami has, let me look at the yardage on this one. <clears throat> this is a pretty big one. This is 600 meters. And 
Rita Johnson Cotterman, I will I will starting the twisted stitches shawl soon. Yes, you'll be starting it soon. I know you will because I'm waiting for you to call me and say, hey, if I need help. Can, when, when can we get together? I love helping our customers here, our fans at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Um, you know, when you buy a project from us, uh, you're not alone. Just because you're buying it online doesn't mean you're not going to see us again. I'm, I'm not going to send you somewhere to find a video that you've never seen before or someone who's not going to be able, you know, you're not going to be able to understand it. I will work with you. We'll set up a call. We'll sit together. And we'll get you through your project. Of course, I can't teach you something new online when you want to do a project. I prefer that you do our Click and Knit classes, where you, right now Click and Knit is out there. It's online for people who want to learn to knit. But if you want to sharpen your skills, I'm more than happy to customize a Click and Knit class for you. And that would be three classes where we'd work together. So if you find, go on to Knitty Gritty Yarn Girl and look at Click and Knit. It's Click, the letter N knit. Um, you can learn more about that. And if you're interested in maybe learning eyelet, learning cable, um, you know, something that you would like some help with, let me know and we can work on that with you together. We are your local yarn shop, only a mouse click away. That's true. That's how we work. Antoinette Kellum says, hey, and Rita Johnson Cotterman, I will for sure. I so appreciate all your help. Oh, yeah. Yep. No problem. Not it's not a problem at all. If 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 I'm there for you, you'll be there for me. That's how it works, and we have a great time. And uh, we do love our fans at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Uh, so uh, yes, we were talking about you know using different neuro yarns. If you like that, um, the Twisted Stitches shawl, you can also work it in this. This is Akari which is a more, this is a silk cotton viscose wool, silk cotton viscose mohair and wool. Now this doesn't have as much yardage on it. You would need two skeins of this instead of one skein of the Subami, but you could, it's also a, certainly an interchangeable yarn. Uh, it's the same yarn weight. Noro Ito is, you know, your typical Noro yarn. It's that, that heavy wool. And Sweeto is their new tweed, which is a bulky yarn and just absolutely <clears throat> gorgeous. So that's just an idea. Oh, here's Okonoshimo. Um, this is great. If you go on our website and take a look at, um, look up Okonoshimo and you'll see some of the projects that we have, as well as the beautiful colors of this new yarn by Noro. There we go. You can see them all there. So, yeah. So that's what we've got going on with Noro Yarns. I don't want to rush you, but we need to add the names to the bucket because we're getting okay. close to the time. Are we getting close? Okay. So if you uh, please would bear with us for a moment so I can add all the new names. We want to make sure that all the possible winners are added to the list. Okay. You go, Paul. Okay. Let's see here. We have some new folks who came in um, after we announced that if you share Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, your name goes into a sharing bucket and we have some great prizes that we share every week on our show. Okay. Kitsy Demeray. Okay. I'm just going to put Kitsy because I know it's you. Linda Crawford. You're right. There's only one Kitsy. <laughs> you got Linda Crawford, right? I'm doing that right now. Yeah. Rita Johnson Cotterman. Okay. And so, by the way, what happens is after the show, if you share another post that you see from Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl, I go through all the posts each day that are current on the website and see who's sharing and your name goes in the bucket. Okay, that's those are all the names. Okay, perfect. So with people that said shared, shared, shared? Yeah, okay. got Just them all. Sure. We've got about five minutes left, so I wanted to make sure that we didn't leave any okay, names so off. Okay, so here's what we're doing this time. I, hi Ben. For this fun fur 
yarn. It's called Albina. And this is a one skein project called Bonfire Night. So I am giving away the pattern and the kit, uh, the, the kit and the yarn for, and I have a variety of colors here. So you can see the all different colors that we have for this kit. And so someone will be the lucky winner of a bonfire night shell kit. Come here, buddy. Uh, Debbie Dunweber Wickham says, great to know. Alrighty. Look how big, look all those names. Okay, up we go. Drum roll, please. Got one. I hope it's a new one. Nancy Dorsey. Nancy, Nancy Dorsey. Dorsey you're Congratulations. A winner. You're going to win a bonfire night kit. So, um, if you are not in on our mailing list right now, I will be calling you to get your address, all your contact information. Thank you so much for being a fan of Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl and for sharing. I have to put this aside so I don't forget the kit that's right there. Okay, so we are going to be back tomorrow uh, sharing some more goodies with you. I think we're going to talk a little bit more tomorrow night about um, our Papillon shawl. We've got, we just have so many things to keep showing you here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Don't forget, you can contact us at any time at nittygrittyyarngirl.com on our contact form. Or you can call us at 203-856-6755. The discount code for Vogue Knitting Live is VK Live, And that's for orders, free shipping on orders over $50. And we will be back tomorrow. In the U.S. Oh, in the U.S., right. Over $50 in the free shipping in the U.S., over $50. And if you're outside the U.S., we'll take $10. We'll refund $10 of your shipping costs back to you. Debbie Dun Dunweber Wickham says, congratulations, Nancy. And Brenda Dixonberger, congratulations. And Leslie Welsh Flaherty, congrats, Nancy. Well, that's great. I love that you are all so supportive of everybody who wins every week. Thank you so much. Um, I was going to say, uh, we were talking about the discount code um, tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be here at one, yes, from one to two Eastern time on Saturday and Sunday. And for those of you who have signed up for the um, for the knit along, if you want to join our tutorial, just let me know. We're going to do a, a quick tutorial um, Monday during the day. And ew, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to do one in the evening on Monday, but it'll probably do, be during the day. And maybe we'll do one Sunday night. So if you need some help, let me know. Kitsy Demeray, nice show as usual. Well, thanks, Kitsy. We love you all. And we will see you here tomorrow. We need. We have a minute. We have two minutes. Paul's telling me to, to hurry up and then to slow down. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> so, you know, uh, we're going to be here for you. Anytime you want. Oh, by the way, if you are um, from um, watching us with Vogue Knitting Live, don't forget to fill out your survey. Really important. It helps us to know what you are looking for from Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl and how we can serve you better. And we're going to close by showing you two things. Number one, holidays are coming up. Someone you love may want a knittable arrangement. We create lovely uh, bouquets of yarn. Everything is custom made to your specifications. And, um, oh, that light is shining right on there, isn't it? And we are more than happy to help you choose something for someone special or to help someone special choose something for you. And um, the last thing to show you is our map. We want to thank you all for being such amazing fans of Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Tomorrow, you will, I will have the pin in Montana. We got an order from Montana. That was our first one this year. Our friends out in uh, New Zealand, 
and Australia, thank you so much. Canada, across the world, we are loving all of you, loving Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Now, we still need to fill in North Dakota and New Mexico, and New Mexico for a bingo. So if you have <laughs> friends that live in New Mexico or North Dakota, share the love. Be sure to share Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. Hey, I hope you'll consider our knit along and our retreat and all the great projects we have here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl for you. We hope to see you again tomorrow um, and again whenever we're here on Monday nights for Twisted Stitches. Like our page and... And share our page. And you'll be sure to go into the sharing bucket when you see us the next time. Thanks and have a fabulous evening. Ooh, ooh.